What is up everybody? Ray Davenport, your director of athletics here. And today what I want to do is go over some foundational body weight movements, uh, the push up and the pull up. Now the reason we do body weight movements is it forces us to have greater core activation and a greater awareness of our body in space. So if you've been looking for control, balance, uh, these are great ways to do that. Again, today we're focusing on those two upper body movements, but we'll have some more movements coming up in the near future. Uh, watch along. If you have any questions at the end, just let me know and good luck. So the first thing you're going to need to do your pull-ups in here are some bands. Now we have these hanging out on our rig here, uh, and we're just going to use one of them today. Uh, I've got the green one. It's going to give me a little more support. I've adjusted these little J-hooks, typically for holding a barbell, to a height that I feel like I can reach. Uh, I'm going to loop it around once, okay, so it's sitting on this J-hook. Now I've also positioned a bench so that I can more easily reach those bars above me, and all we're going to do is stand on that band, holding on to these handles, whichever handles you want, and then we're going to perform our pull-up. That rubber band is going to give me the support I need to be able to more easily pull all the way up and lower at a controlled pace. So if you find that that is too difficult, what you can do is just move those hooks a little bit higher or use a heavier band. It's a great way to get started with pull-ups. I encourage everyone to give it a shot, uh, see what you think, and you'll be getting stronger pulling your own body weight in no time. So the next movement I want to look at is the push-up. Now, a lot of you may have done modified versions of the push-up where you're on your knees, uh, but we don't need to do that. I would rather see you in a normal push-up position with some modification uh, and this is going to be the best way to do it in the gym. So I've got these J-hooks in the same position, and all I'm going to do is climb into this band. Now I'm going to come from the other way so you can get a better view of what I'm doing, but taking the bottom piece, putting it directly across, kind of just below the chest line, right on the rib. We're going to come into our push-up position and make sure that we're going straight down on that band. My fingers are spread wide, my toes can be out wide for more support or together, whatever feels comfortable for you. And from here, starting in a fully extended position, we're going to lower down and then press back up. Now, depending on the level of band, you're going to have an easier or more difficult time. But over time, this should really allow you to build up that strength that you otherwise wouldn't be able to develop trying to struggle through, because push-ups are tough, trying to struggle through your traditional push-up. So give that a shot. Again, a fantastic way to work the core. You're basically doing a dynamic plank when you think about it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Again, a great exercise to work everything and practice that movement that later on we can do without the assistance of the bands. Good luck, and let me know how it goes.